Hi folks, so you either perhaps have a scooter that you ordered and it's on its way or it's just uh, hit your uh, garage or what have you. Um, I want to tell you that you have probably saved, say, $2,000 off of, say, buying one from Yamaha, or Suzuki, Honda, by, say, uh, buying a Chinese one. So here's a Chinese one, and this is like $1,000. I got, uh, I'm pretty cheap, so I got this one from um, a guy named Rick from MX Motorsports. US. Thousand bucks, a lot of stuff. It's a 150cc, and uh, it actually does just as advertised. It does about 53 miles an hour, and it just loves to putter along at about 48. No problem at all. Uh, not a bad purchase. They've made millions, and they're all over the planet. So now here's one in uh, Tucson, Arizona. The reason you save $2,000 is because you're going to have to put about four or five, six hours worth of work in it. It's going to come in a great big box and you're going to be disassembling it. That box, uh, a lot of metal frame and so forth, that takes a while. But as soon as you have access to wherever they put the battery, like uh, underneath the seat in this case, you want to take that out, uh, fill it up with the uh, provided liquid, and you don't want to uh, jump start it using Uncle Mel's F-250 Ford pickup truck. You'll probably want to uh, beg, borrow, or steal just a trickle charger like this. Here's one from Walmart, cost $19.97 or something. Well worth its uh, weight in gold. <clears throat> and in about two hours and 40 minutes, it uh, brought this battery to, to a proper life. And uh, that way, it'll run for probably three years. Uh, Arizona's rough on batteries. Uh, if you'd uh, jumped it with Uncle Mel's uh, F-250, it would last about one or two or three months. So that's uh, the first thing you do, have that charging up off to the side, because you'll have a little more stuff to do with these. This one, in fact, came in uh, with the front tire on and everything else on, and all I had to do was attach the um, handlebars and the, uh, and the controls here. Do I look like a scooter guy? Probably. My other bike is a Harley Davidson and is really souped up and guess what? I like this one better. It's a little more relaxing. It feels good. Alright, next thing you should have on hand is good, clean, fresh gasoline, say from uh, Chevron or Shell. Support your local American companies. Make it high proof like 91. Just keep that handy. No dirt in here. Although this machine did come with a uh, fuel filter. I had bought one. Didn't need to put it in. Uh, next, your the machines come with um, uh, the proper weight um, oil in the little gearbox back there, and it just takes like this one takes like 100 cc's, just about that much oil. And also, it specs out uh, 1540, which is kind of an oddball um, viscosity and weight of oil. So, the um, um, not knowing exactly what oil came in this thing, and uh, it's my understanding is pretty cheap oil that comes in these things. After about 10 miles, I drained it out and uh, put in Rotella T. This is mostly used by uh, diesel uh, engine owners. Very, very tough oil, 1540. Uh, this would be okay. I might, I might switch to um, a synthetic blend um, come summer, but it's like 120 degrees down here. So that's why I would be doing that. All right, next. Uh, Next, uh, have on hand some some sort of like silicon glues or, or glues like that, or uh, maybe Loctite also. As you go around your machine, you'll want to um, you want to put a little bit of Loctite. Maybe take off some of the screws and nuts and bolts. Uh, some on the muffler. Uh, you just put some Loctite on it. The blue Loctite, please, so that uh, the vibration and so forth um, don't make parts simply fall off. The the machine has already made a 10,000 mile trip from um, from China, so. Uh, some things may be a little bit loose, so take a look around it. Also, just uh, just some people like to change the spark plug, especially if it says torch. And so I pulled that out, and I can tell that it's um, not manufactured quite as well as, say, an NGK. So uh, take it down. Um, in this case, uh, take it, go down to your, uh, take the spark plug down, or or ahead of time, look up the uh, spark plug for a GY6 if it's a 150cc like this. And you can uh, find them at, uh, well, your Yamaha, Honda, so forth, uh, um, dealers, and they'll have those for you, too. And last but not least, uh, when you're in there and you're taking that battery out, or when things are all set up and it's kind of like on the ground like this, and maybe the whole seat is off, and you have access to your uh, battery, 
a lot. It's the feeling of a lot of uh, people that you should uh, go ahead and cut out the um, cut out the uh, fuses that are in it, and go ahead and put in car style fuse holder and fuse. This one takes 15 amp ones. Cut, cut. Slip some uh, stuff called shrink wrap. You can find that at Home Depot or whatever, and put that down the wires first. Don't forget to do that first, and then uh, uh, just. Uh, well, it's very windy here. I had to get a, like a hundred water here. But probably just a normal little uh, ten dollar. Um, this is twenty bucks. Ten dollar um, soldering iron will do you just fine. And uh, after you solder it on, you move this piece back, covering the the weld point. And you use a high tech system like a cigarette lighter, and you just heat this up the area which this is covering, and that seals it up. And folks, that's about all I can tell you, except uh, something uh, a note about breaking on these things. In China, people pay uh, a year's worth of their salary to get one of these, and they revere them, they love them, they take very, very good care of them. Uh, over here in America, this comes uh, to your uh, yard, you throw gasoline in it, uh, maybe, maybe, or maybe not, check whether there's even oil in it. You might want to just go right down the road, right up to top speed, and that pretty much will ruin the engine. So, um, so anyway, um, you'll want to uh, break these in relatively nicely, at least for 50 miles. I gave it 50 miles of very low speed stuff, and um, uh, like 0 to 20, about 1,000 times. Um, it, uh, the engine itself likes to be changed in RPM as it rubs, uh, rubs off uh, some hard spots on metal parts here and there. So anyway, uh, it says in the book uh, they should do that for about uh, 300 miles or something like that. Holy cow. So anyway, I, I got this thing up to speed at, at about, uh, uh, about 50, 60, 70 miles. I started to bring it up to maybe 30, 40. It's running very, very nice right now. Have no fear. Uh, these are good bikes. There's a lot of them around the planet. And they come with about three different uh, uh, well-known engines. they made millions of all of them. And thanks for paying attention. And uh, go out and get one of these. They're really a lot of fun. Thank you.